we are living in a world of data. It's important to cite data correctly, much in the way that you would cite um, an article, a website or an image. Two reasons to cite data correctly. The first is that it's an acknowledgement of a primary source that's being used in research. So it's good scholarly practice to cite data in the same way that you might cite a book as a primary source. The second reason is for research funders to be able to track the use of the data that they support. People want to go back and look at the analysis that's been done. And unless you know where the data sets come from, then you're not sure that the analysis has actually been done correctly. This is the foundation of social research and of research in general, and it is about finding the truth, finding the patterns. People can build on what you've done, so they're more likely to cite you, and that's really good for you as a researcher as you're developing your career and your research. It's quite a simple task to cite data correctly, so the UK Data Service provides a kind of copy and paste function. DOI is a digital object identifier and every data set should have this. The DOI is a web address which will never disappear, it remains constant. It is like a, a fingerprint, it's made up of a string of letters. The first part is uh, references the publisher, for example the UK Data Service has a number. The second part is the name of the data collection. The next part is the version. It's kind of like if you lose your bank card, you still have your account number, you don't lose that. Same with the data set. If the data set moves, you still have the DOI to identify the data. It allows the funders to get visibility of who's using the data that they've supported. If there wasn't the funding available, ESRC's funding, for example, for Understanding Society, or even the UK Data Service itself, wouldn't be able to continue. So researchers have a really important role to play if they want the data that they rely on to continue to be made accessible to them. But also, as a data producer, studies like Understanding Society, we try to publicise research using our data because it demonstrates the value of the study. And so through our website and through our conversations with government departments, we would be telling them about your research if we know about it because you've cited our study. 